Hello you lovely people, remember the Atari 2600 that we fixed up in the previous video? Well, we still got a bit of work to do because uh, the joysticks uh, seem to move things around a little bit but they don't allow you to fire and some directions don't work and so something's wrong. It's a good opportunity to have a look inside these joysticks and see how they work and you know compare a few different types of joysticks I believe these are the joysticks that have those little pads inside them uh, there are some joysticks out there that have micro switches which are far more reliable micro switch is a bit more of an industrial standard these days anyway let's pull these joysticks apart give them a good service and see if we can figure out what the problem is just as a reminder we're giving away one of these it's a little Super Nintendo or actually more like an NES type Game Boy type device. Um, it works really well actually, I've been playing it more and more and quite enjoying it. So um, looking forward to giving this away, uh, Video uh, giveaway video is up above. Follow the rules in that video, it's very simple, all you got to do is comment and subscribe and that's pretty much it really. So uh, get, uh, get your name on the list and see if you can win one of these bad boys. So without further ado, let's uh, get into these joysticks and have a look at them, see what's going on. So we've got a couple of different joysticks here. One of them is a Competition Pro, and the other joystick is a Spectra Video joystick with an auto fire on it. So what we're gonna do is just unplug these from the Atari 2600, and then what we're gonna do is uh, have a look at them, pull them apart, see what's inside, and uh, give them a good old service. Get them back to a, a point where we can use them. So, getting out the screwdriver and pulling everything apart. And we can see inside the Competition Pro joystick has got something similar to micro switches in it, but they're not real micro switches. They're like little leaf spring switches. And the leaf spring switches are driven by the push buttons and the joystick itself. So what I wanted to do was figure out whether or not these leaf spring switches have got oxidization on the contacts. It's quite an old joystick, so the likelihood is, is they're not making very good contact. And if you listen to the sound of the buzzer, you'll notice that the multimeter is showing that there's a bit of a problem. So what I decided to do was uh, get some cleaning fluid in this case methylated spirits probably not the best cleaning fluid for this but it works all the same and a cotton bud and then use that cotton bud to rub those contacts and then remove the oxidization from those contacts standard digital joysticks are relatively simple inside they consist of a nine-way D connector a bunch of push buttons, which you can see me drawing here, a common signal, or a ground if you like, and then each one of those joystick buttons makes a contact. Quite simple really. Obviously those joystick contacts are up, down, left and right. And then you've probably got one, maybe two possible fire buttons, which again are connected to the same common and connect to the nine-way D-type connector. So let's have a quick look at the Spectra video joystick. See how this is made, see what's inside of it. This is quite cool in the sense that it's got this little auto fire switch on it. So getting the screwdriver out again and we'll pop this bad boy apart. And there it is, exposes the PCB. Now, this PCB is a little bit different. It's got leaf springs again. They're not as good, I would say, as the, uh, as the leaf springs that we had in the previous joystick. So you'll notice then that this actually is quite dirty on the inside, and it's actually quite difficult to service and reassemble. The other joystick, the Competition Pro joystick, was much easier to service and reassemble. Now, there's a triple five in here, which is a little a timer IC, which drives the auto fire function of this joystick. The Competition Pro doesn't have that auto fire option. 
Anyway, let's uh, use the same method and give this a bit of a clean. And as you can see, the cotton bud is in horrible, horrible shape. So everything was quite dirty in here. Right, let's pull the handle apart and see if we can figure out the, uh, the firing mechanism of this joystick. So we've got two buttons, which actually drive different switches, but those switches effectively are common. Now, these are the pads that I really despise of. This one works, as you can see, it's got quite a positive click and spring back to it, but this little spring pad here is quite messy and doesn't work very well. So what I've decided to do was go ahead and get the, uh, get the buzzer, go ahead and get the meter and just uh, test that out. So after a good old service, we plug everything back together and boom, off we go. We're shooting at planes on the Atari 2600. <laughs> and my skills aren't very good at these games, you know. In fact, to be honest, I think if I gave this to my wife, she would probably kick my butt, like she normally does when it comes to playing games. Anyway, I managed to get a plane down, so I'm quite happy with that. But as you can see here, the SpectraVision joystick just isn't working in the upwards direction. It's it's going down, but it's not going up. <laughs> the good news, the triple fiver timer I see in there that does the auto fire is working. Excuse the scrolling black bar. That'll be a harmonic between the camera shutter speed and the TV refresh rate. Anyway, as you can see, there's that auto fire working away nicely. As always, thanks ever so much for watching Dubious Engineering. Please don't hesitate to give us a good old thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't. Click the bell. And um, you know what? If you get a chance, perhaps share this or maybe one of the other videos that we've made with some of your friends. They might appreciate it. It might be useful to them. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. And uh, maybe go check out some of our other videos. Cheers for now.